Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to paint this mini Castle Grey Skull. Alright, we'll get started right after this. So I got several of these mini Castle Grey Skulls from Walmart last year. They came with a little figurine in them, a little action figure of one of the Masters of the Universe characters. So I thought it'd be fun to paint this. It does kind of wobble a little bit when you have the two halves together. So I'm going to go ahead and take some Loctite Super Glue Gel and just put a little bit around the edges here. I don't have to worry about every spot, but I kind of want to get a little bit in each area. And then I'm just going to put the two halves together press them in tight until that super glue is dry and this will keep it nice and even and I want to make sure it doesn't shift on me while I am painting it. Once the super glue is dry I can start applying the surface prep so I'm using clear gesso and this will just make it so the acrylic paint will adhere to it better. Once that is dry I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat of black acrylic paint so I just mix that up, put a little bit on my cup here, and then I'm just taking my brush and just getting it all covered. I want to make sure it's not gooped on anywhere, but I do want a nice thick coat, and this way I can dry brush over it, and you'll be able to see like the black in the crevices and whatever color I'm using on top of that. All right, so now that I've got the black all done and it's all dry, I'm not worried about the bottom going to take some green paint, green acrylic paint. I'm going to dry brush this on. So I'm getting the excess off of my brush and dragging my brush over the little castle. And you can see that detail pop on there and how the stones and everything look green, but in between is going to be black. I'm going to go over the teeth and the face of the castle. So yes, Castle Grayskull is green. It's kind of weird, huh? But anyway, so we'll get this all covered, get a nice coat on there, and then I am going to go ahead and mix up some gray and dry brush that over some of the other rocks to give them kind of a different look and more stone texture to it. So I'm going to mix up some white acrylic and black acrylic, just a lot of white and just a little dab of black. Mix those up with the end of my brush here until I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to dry brush this on. So once I have that mixed up, get it nice and swirled. I want to make sure it's even. Dab my brush in there, get the excess off. And then I'm going to drag my brush over the stone texture on the castle. Now, I do want it to be kind of varied and I want more of the green towards the bottom. So I am applying it a little bit thicker up top. And then when I get to those bottom stones, I'm going to apply it just a little bit less so you can still have that green showing through. And this is one of those things I wasn't for sure how it would look. And it's starting out to have a little more gray than how the castle normally is. I did go ahead and switch to a brush that's flat. It kind of has a, you know, a straight edge on there. And I, this ended up being a lot better for the dry brushing than the brush I was using initially. So you can always try some different things if something's not working and see what works best for you. So once I have that all dry brushed, I let it dry, and now I'm gonna take some brown acrylic paint, and I'm gonna do the roof of this little tower here. It's got these little wooden shingles on it, so I am kinda dry brushing it. I get the excess off there, but I'm still doing it, I'm doing it thicker than I did the rock on the castle. I wasn't as much worried about the, you know, those little crevices showing through as being dark. I'm gonna do the same thing for the door, and what I'm doing here is going along with the faux wood grain and you know painting each like plank of the door. Now once I have the door done and that's dried, I'm going to take my silver paint and I'm going to paint all those little details on the door, like the bar that locks it, the two hinges, and the crest on the front. So again, I'm just taking my silver paint, brushing off the excess so I can kind of dry brush it on there. But I want to put on several coats of this over this so I can have it nice and shiny. I want this to really stand out. Now these are really small areas to paint, but what's nice about it is they stick out just far enough. It really wasn't as hard to paint as I thought. Now 
I did go ahead and use my my reading glasses because some of this stuff was pretty small, but I it was I was able to do it and I was pretty happy with the results. So we're gonna go ahead and let this dry overnight and then we'll look at the finished castle. All right, so here is the finished mini castle gray skull that I got at Walmart. It came with an Eternia mini in it. This was their first series, their second series, or Snake Mountain, so I might paint one of those later. If you guys want me to do that, let me know in the comments. And then their current ones are just on blister cards, so boo. They were going to do like a Fright Zone or something, or Slime Pit, or whatever from Hordak, and that never happened. So I think there's just some prototypes of those. But I do want to go ahead, since I did get several of these, bring in an unpainted castle so you can see the difference. Again, I was very happy with how this turned out. It was a pretty easy little project. Now here he the castle is with the Eternia minis. These are way they're you know way too big as far as scale, but it looks good as a display. You could also display it with some smaller ones like these little Funko Masters of the Universe characters. And I also have some of the Super 7 muscle ones, and these would look cool painted as well. Alright, well thanks for watching and remember, never stop creating. Bye! If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel and go ahead and check out some of this other awesome content I have on here. You know what? I don't even know what I'm going to put on this last page. I just like to ramble and have this here so people can click on stuff and hopefully get me more views and make my channel grow and that'd be awesome. Thanks guys. Bye.